Hi, this is Megan with Beadaholic, and today I'm going to show you how to make the noodle bead necklace from the noodle bead necklace kit. And there are three different kit options. There's a black color option, a purple color option, and a turquoise color option. And each kit will come with the supplies to make two necklaces, one in a silver plated version and one in a gold plated version. And I'm just gonna show you how to make one and I'm gonna make another one of the turquoise and gold plated one necklaces. So I'm gonna get those out of the way. Inside the kit will be all of these goodies and it's everything you need but the tools. So we're gonna have five silver plated noodle beads and five gold plated noodle beads. There's gonna be a little bundle of waxed cotton cord, a little tube of glue, two gold plated cord ends, two silver plated cord ends. Then you'll have two silver plated jump rings two gold plated jump rings, and then magnetic clasps, a silver plated and a gold plated. And the tools that you'll need are a ruler, a pair of flush cutters. You can use scissors, but I like to get a nice clean edge on my cotton cord by using a flush cutter. And then you'll need uh, two pairs of pliers for jewelry making, so a chain nose, and then either a second pair of chain nose or a pair of round nose something else that you'll use to open and close the jump rings. And then I also like to have a scratch pad, like a post-it notepad or something to use for um, catching the glue mess as I'm working. So to begin, we're going to cut our cord. Now when you first open your cord, it might be kind of wrinkled and bent up from being in a little bundle. It should relax as you use it and wear it but one really quick and easy way to get it to straighten right out is just get it wet and uh, pull it straight. And don't stretch, just kind of run, run it through your fingers and pull it straight and it will dry relatively, relatively quickly. So what we're gonna do is cut five pieces of our waxed cotton cord, 15 and a half inches long each. So I just cut one with the ruler and then measure the rest off of the ones that are already cut because it's more important to me to have them all the same length than it is to have them all exactly 15 and a half inches. So they should be even. So even if your first one was very slightly off, they should go ahead and match that. And this is gonna make a 16 inch necklace, which is a shorter necklace if you'd like to adjust the finished necklace length, you would just cut your waxed cotton cord to slightly different lengths. So you can add a little in or out of the measurement there. And I'm just gonna show you one necklace. If you wanna cut all 10 pieces of your cord all at once to do both necklaces, you can um, of course feel free to cut all 10 pieces at one time. and you would have more left. I just had a shorter piece that I used when I straightened it out with the water. Okay. Now we're going to need some glue. And I'm going to go ahead and put some glue out onto a post-it notepad. And then line all, all five of your cords up so that the ends match or even and we're going to just get some glue on the ends and you want a decent amount and you want it all the way to the sides but you don't want so much that it's going to overflow out of your end cap okay and it can be a little tricky but they do all fit you're going to with them bundled up put all five cord ends into one of the cord end caps they do fit, sometimes you just gotta get your nail into the edge and then wipe away the excess glue. And you wanna let that 
glue set and make sure all the cords are pushed all the way down into the tip and let it let that set up for a few minutes before you move on because you don't want to pull it out okay then i'm going to work in carefully just because this glue isn't 100 percent dry or if you want you can go ahead and, and let it dry for longer so that you don't have to be as careful we're just going to place one of our noodle beads onto each one of the cords and just slide it on and pull it to about the middle okay then we're going to just kind of line up your cords stack the beads a little so that they're not really twisted up so that you can get them into a group where they're not super twisted up. And it's okay if it's a little bit, it's, it's really hard to get it perfect, but it can take more time or less as, as it matters to you. But I've noticed that it's not that noticeable unless it's really twisted. Okay, then we're just going to put some more glue on the other end. And if your glue has gotten too dry, you can get yourself some some more. Mine is still pretty good. I'm just going to go ahead and use that. And again, I'm going to slide all five ends into the cord end and push them all the way in and then wipe away any excess glue. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let the glue set on that as well before you continue. And the last thing we're gonna do is attach the clasp. So you're going to take your jump rings. You can grasp the jump ring on one side of the split with your chain nose pliers and then use a second pair of pliers to pull the sides away from each other this way. Not apart this way, but just from side to side. And then you're going to attach each cord end to one side of the clasp using a jump ring and just pull the sides back to the meat of the jump ring. And I'm just gonna leave that clasp closed while I attach it. You can separate it if you find it's easier. So open the jump ring. And then put the two pieces onto the jump ring. And the clasp will be a little bit annoying. <laughs> just be careful that you don't have it come off the jump ring. And close the jump ring back up and that's all there is to it then you would just repeat that process with your silver plated findings to create your second version <laughs> 